All right, you little fifth graders, let's practice compound sentences once again. I know you're very excited. Again, the instructions are underline the subjects, place the predicates in bold, place the conjunction in red. When you are finished, scroll down to the next page to check your answers. That's what, of course, you'll do on your assignment. Number one, Batman is a hero for he is successful in changing I'm sorry, in catching the criminals in his city. What are the subjects in this sentence? Say it out loud. Excellent. Batman, underline. He, underline. What are the predicates? Say it out loud. Excellent. He is a hero, is successful in catching criminals in his city. And last but not least, what is the conjunction in this sentence? Not bad, not bad at all. For is the conjunction. Number two. The kid had to go to the restroom really bad, but he did not make it in time. What are the conjunctions, I'm sorry, the subjects, say it out loud. Good. The kid, underline, he, underline. What are the predicates? Say it out loud. Had to go to the restroom really bad. And did not make it in time. Excellent. Now, what is the conjunction? Not bad at all. But. <laughs> he said bad. Alright, the next one. It says, type S if it is a simple sentence. Type C if it is a compound sentence. Remember, the pattern of a simple sentence is subject, predicate. The, type, uh, the uh, pattern of a compound sentence is subject, predicate, comma, conjunction, subject, predicate. Number three, Mr. McGuire gives too much work. What type of sentence is that? Say it out loud. Good. That is just a simple sentence. Subject question. Number four. All the clothes were on sale at Bill's dollar store. So, Mr. McGuire went on Saturday. What type of sentence is that? Say it out loud. Excellent. Compound sentence. The comma and the conjunction always give it away. Look for that. It'll make it easier. The next set of instructions, it says, combine the two simple sentences with the conjunction. Now, you can retype the whole new sentence, or you can just fix it right here in the middle. Jill did not like to read. The teacher called on her anyway. What comma and conjunction should I place right here to combine these sentences. The best one. Excellent. But is the best one. But the teacher called on her anyway. Jill did not like to read, but the teacher called on her anyway. All right, number six. Bailey made a bad grade. Her dad took her phone. What would be the best comma and conjunction to use to combine those two simple sentences? Say it out loud. Good. Comma, so, her dad. Bailey made a bad grade. Comma, so her dad took her phone. Easy. Compound sentence. Subject, predicate, comma, 
conjunction, subject, predicate.